Welcome back to the Shame Plays Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. When we last left our intrepid heroes, they were exploring the somewhat storied and fabled town of Lebez, which for um, the world that we're in, this sort of Transylvanian medieval world, um, oh, what, what, what the heck is that? Is a... Uh, is actually quite quite a decent sized town. Hmm. Something came out of there. Emeralds? Yes. Okay, well that that looks kind of interesting. That's very we're going to come back to that. Have no fear. But just uh, that's probably going to take us to some kind of dungeon situation, so I'm wanting to explore the rest of the city first. I feel like I've already have I already talked to this guy. The wheel right. What's up, wheel right? Look at this wheel, Spicer. Tell me what you see. Uh, I see a well-made wheel, sir. Some lousy wood hammered together by the looks of it. Is this a philosophical question? That's not. I'm gonna say I see a well-made wheel, sir. Yes, perhaps, but perhaps more. In the time of the ancients, criminals were lashed to wheels, bludgeoned with clubs, and left to rot in the sun with broken bodies. Um, let's say I'd call that justice. Yes, but so poetic. The lifeblood of a traitor becomes his agonizing end. Huh. Tell me, Spicer, how many days do you think one can survive lashed to a wheel? Uh, do you tell the story to every passing merchant? Why does anyone come here? I don't really have time to listen to your ravings. One, maybe two? Three days, Spicer. That's actually in the real world what I would have guessed. Can you imagine, strapped to this beauty, just you and she under the sun, meeting your glorious end together? Oh, I'm sorry, I was rambling. Forgive me, I get carried away. Is there something I can do for you? I just wanted to know about the area. We're humble folk, just trying to provide warmth and shelter for merchants on these cold roads. But we don't take kindly to trouble, so if you see anyone looking shifty, you tell me and it'll be taken care of. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to strap him to his will. Not taken care of with wills, I hope. No, no, we just stoned them in a town square. I see. Excuse me. Well, that was quite the interaction. All right. I actually just paused the video and sent a tweet to the developers. Uh, well, not studios. Joe and Han over there. They're really cool folks. Uh, saying how much I enjoyed that. I said that was quite the interaction. Ah, emeralds. I'll take them. Give me them emeralds. Emeralds, as you may or may not know, I don't know how many of these videos you've seen or how much of the game you may or may not have played are the currency of Serpent in the Staglands. There's no gold pieces. There's no silver pieces. There's no this or that. There's emeralds, which is fine. I like it. Keeps things simple. Okay. Seems like every barrel pretty much has emeralds, which is cool because to get in, you have to pay a, an emerald to to work the crank of the gate. The water in the only well in town smells rank. I don't know if that's a clue that something's up or if they're just saying that, you know, in this world, well water is kind of rank because the first town you investigate or whatever, just south of your temple um, that you start off in. Seems like the, the well is kind of rank, if I remember right. Maybe there's even people saying that there's... Yeah, I've been in here. Okay, I think I've investigated pretty much everything except for that trap door. Yeah, because that's an exit off the map. So by selling virgin's blood over here somewhere. Yeah, I think we're good. We're just going to go back to this uh, trap door. Assuming we can get in. Come on, y'all can do it. Come on, happy little party. You could do it, you could do it. Taking the 
your sweet time. Here they come. So, quick save. Let's see, what is this? Up, oh, door opens. In we go. Oh, yeah. What is this? So I guess that's showing light coming in from up there. It's moving, but there's I can't interact with it. Wow, wow, look at all this. Is this like the, the town treasury? Pack of bolts, leaf blade, canvas lined armor. Huh. What's on this one? Emeralds. What is this? A ruffian. I found the den of ruffians. Well, bring it on, ruffians. I'm spoiling for a good fight. And even though this game is morally questionable onto your motives. Oh. Um. We need to get Trallon out of here. He's taking a beating. Come on, Trallon. And let's get some healing on Trallon. And then Trallon, I'm going to let you throw a, a uh, offensive spell on this guy. He's impaired. He's hitting pretty hard. Alexander, are you going to survive? Okay, he's running. All right. Let's get some healing on everybody. That actually, if I would have come to Lebez earlier on in the game, that would have been a pretty tough fight. Okay. Right, get some healing on her. Let's see what's up over here. He's all healthy. How many more ruffians shall we face? Let's rough up some ruffians, shall we? Okay, this could this could turn into a fight because there's two of them, and they hit pretty hard. I'm gonna have her do her wolf transformation. I'm going to have Trallon move back here. Oh, they're, they're on Trallon again. All right, Roxandra's a wolf, so she'll hit hard. Okay, let's take this guy out. Let's see if I can drop him quick before this other guy starts doing a lot of damage. Mortally wounded. Yeah, Roxandra's taking some. Let's get some healing on Roxandra. See if I can get some healing on her before she gets killed. Is that healing not taking effect? I've got two healing spells on her. Nope, she died. Huh. Well, that's a bummer. Did I have the wrong... They weren't healing her very much. I'm going to reload my save. And fight my way back to that point so you don't have to watch it all again. Okay, so we're basically back to that fight. Uh, I think just one's going to come in, so I guess I'll just fight him by himself. See what happens. Alright. 
Trowan, you're going to throw Crippling Ray. And you're going to throw Nauseate. So, you know, Serpent of Stag Staglands doesn't have a lot of direct damage spells. There's a lot of buffing and debuffing and altering the environment and stuff like that. Ruffian dodges, challenge, crippling ray. Oh. Ruxandra's, how, how hurt is it? He's badly injured. I'm going to get Ruxandra out of the fight. No, Alexandra, come on, because you're taking a pretty good beating. And I'm going to switch Elric over to healing Alexandra. Okay, well, man, Trallon, move, dude. These ruffians hit hard. There's no doubt about that. Hold up. Okay, everybody's all healed up. Alright, what's on the ground? Emeralds. I'm not taking any of this other stuff just because my inventory is full and none of that stuff is exceptional or anything. It's just kind of standard gear. I'm going to have Roxandra turn into a wolf. She does a lot of damage when she's a wolf. Oh, well now here's these two guys. So, was there an extra, I don't remember, it seems like that was, these two guys are the fight that killed Roxandra last time. Maybe this other guy we didn't encounter the first time. But we are going to pull this dude. We're not going to fight two at a time if we don't have to. Okay. Roxandra! You have to howl tonight. Who's he getting on? He's getting on Trallon. Trallon, move, bro. He's on Trallon pretty hard. Trallon, move. Okay. Uh, El Rick, let's get some healing on Trallon. Trallon, we're going to cost cast Crippling Ray on this guy. Lower his... Debuff him. Ah, oh, Rick's taking a beating. Not good. Oh, Rick. Go back here. Heal yourself. Sandra, did it say Ruxandra's wolf claws can't puncture ruffian's armor? Oh, that sucks. Man, they keep seem they seem to keep getting on Ruxandra. I don't want her to die again. Okay, he's dead. Good. Okay, Roxandra's healed. Let's see what's on the ground. I'll take those emeralds. Thank you very much. I don't want the shield. I just want the emeralds. Okay. Now, Rick, let's get some healing on you, pal. Okay, everybody's healed up. It makes me happy. See who he's. Uh, he's got none. Are you not? 
Wilhelm? He got on Wilhelm at first, but it seems like Wilhelm wasn't fighting, so I don't know what was happening there. back on Wilhelm and now he's dead. Okay. Uh. Need some healing. Loot. Fat loot. Give me the fat loot. I'm not taking any of that other stuff because it just eats up my inventory slots. He saw me. Come on down here, you ruffin. Ruffin? Ruffian. Thou ruffian. You can fight these guys one at a time. They're pretty manageable. But they do hit hard. There's no doubt they hit hard. No, I didn't want it. That was a misclick or something. Dang, <laughs> a lot of my guys are hurt. <laughs> Let's get some healing on her and on her, assuming she's in the thick of it. Yeah, she's taking a lot of the damage. I may need to move her out. Okay, I dropped him. Appear to be a lot of ruffians around here. I want to bring my spellcasters back. Sandra, since she seems to be the main target. And he's down. What the heck is that? Sap gush trap, citrine, and emeralds. Right. Lots of emeralds. Lots of emeralds. Padded leather armor, new. 
that may be worth looking into. Emeralds. Does everybody have a helm? Let's see. Yeah, you got a helm, you got a helm, you got a helm, you got a helm. Okay, everybody's got a helm. So. And then you've got, what kind of, you've got padded leather armor new. Okay, so we don't need that padded little armor. I've got that or better on everybody. Well, that was a bunch of ruffians. I'm going to come down here and get this pack of bolts for uh, Wilhelm uses bolts. So, in fact, let me check everybody's ammunition here. Wilhelm, you got 23. Oh, we're, we're good. We're way good. And I guess we're done with Lebez. Let's um, press on, shall we? Keep exploring the world map. Later, Lebez. Smell you later. Hello, chicken. Uh, where am I going to get out of here? I guess I'm going. Am I going here? Yeah, I'm going up here. Guard stops you several feet from the gate, leading you to believe that past visitors haven't all been friendly and he's taking no chances. Putting on an expression of good intention, I step forward. What's your business here, Spicer? Uh, just passing through. As you say, the toll to use the crank to open the gate is one emerald. Okay. Fine, here's your emerald. On your way, Spicer. Very well. So there's a, a bit of a bug. <laughs> I guess I could have refused to pay, but as soon as I popped out, I, I guess it's not really a bug. It's just the way it's programmed. It, you know, it, it automatically, uh, no matter if you're coming in or out, the guards challenge you. Uh, we're out of here. Later, Lebez. I feel like I've been doing sort of a where did I start I started here so I'm trying to do sort of a search grid I guess I'll go here and start backwards, or, you know, start heading. Oh, can I go straight across? No, I can't. I've already explored all over in here. So, I'm just going to start working a grid. Ambushed! Taking advice of fellow traveler, you took a shortcut only to find yourself surrounded by shroomers. Oh. That's not very nice. I'm not happy about that at all. All right, so here's the shroomers. shouldn't be that oh these are bombers this still shouldn't be that bad I am going to just for the heck of it what's that spell radiant stave that sort of um, it's supposed to yeah they rushed in and suicide suicide bombed me uh, well that yeah I didn't even get to uh, something dodged the attack from Trowan uh, 
Yeah, those bombers just run in and blow up on you. So that may be the entire ambush. I, I guess at lower levels that could have been a challenge, but my dudes were kind of like, really? Well, he's 67. Of, that hurt him a little bit. Trallon took a little bit of damage from that. I was trying to play with that Radiant Stave spell because it, it sort of does fear, kind of. It'll, it'll do sort of a fear effect on some of your en enemies. So I was trying to play around with that, but... All right, let's get out of here. Orf's Bridge Console. This is new. Come on, you can load, you can do it. I usually pause the video during this, but I'll let you enjoy a little bit of the loading times that I get. All right, that wasn't too terribly bad. It's nighttime. I kind of feel like I want it to be daytime. Oh, where's my book? Where's my book? My little, there it is, diary, incantation book, there we go. Try to remember the thing where I speed up time. Bling through time, yeah, seer. Prefix, true name, and an action. So seer is my action, right? And main trallen seer, right? Yeah, okay. So I had to, I had to say I want to change my environment. The target is trallen, and what I want to do is um, speed time. So. Okay. I'm just assuming it's better to interact with the city area during the day. Now I've already been to Orf's Bridge. It surprises me that the console is this far over. The console is kind of the leader, noble kind of area. You know, this kind of shows it's a console. I think these banners, the authority, yep. See, this is all very impressive looking. Let's say what ho to a duck. What ho duck? The duck ignores you, walk away. I have to do that every now and then. It pleases me. Okay. What ho chicken? I didn't mean to talk to the chicken, but I did. And, I gotta, and now I've been ignored by a duck and a chicken. All on the same day. Not a banner day. <laughs> Sorry, for Trallon and company. These guys sure are trying to impress me with their gates and whatnot. Settler, settler, settler. Guys, Catan is nowhere near here. Ox, look at the oxen. Oh, is that a uh, bounty board? Yeah. Before he stands, a crudely structured board attached to a post full of notices and scrolls depicting profiles of criminals and detailing rewards. You uh, peruse the bounties. A 
Crime Lord in Lebez, who masquerades as a wheelwright. Ah! Responsible for multiple murders, organizing bandits in the wilderness. Theft, rape, and evasion of justice. The hospital's paying, offer, offering 500 emeralds for his head. You, yeah, I'm taking that bounty. Uh, somebody, someone out of the corner of your eye watching you curiously move on. Other bounties are there. Okay, do not, uh, do not take the bounty just because I'm already. Okay, I am going to. <laughs> yeah, this is the bounty. Bounty for the war. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go back to Labez. And we're going to fight the wheel right and come back. And then we'll. Uh, that'll be the end of this video because we're already at 30 minutes. But I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch all the stuff. Okay, so we're back in Labez. And here's the wheel right. And you notice here he has a thug. So. He won't let me. Well, I'm taking him out. You're going down, bro. Despite his eccentric reputation and propensity to wax on about ancient torture methods, the Wilwright seems to have acquired some friends. Two hulking, well-armed friends, in fact, whose menacing presence is difficult to ignore. The Wilwright reclines against one of his lovingly crafted wheels, watching your entrance like a fox would watch a stray chicken. With nowhere to turn, Trallon steps forward. Uh, is this who the constable has chosen to relieve me of my head? I do wish I hadn't gotten into so much trouble to set up a guard. It seems like a rather waste now when the fight will be so short. Uh, crime Lord masquerading as a real right ought to know the merits of disguise. I have no wish to hear your prattle. Your crimes are known and justice will be served. It's true I carry a bounty for your head, but it seems rude to take it before getting to know you. Um, uh, nope. A crime lord masquerading as a real right ought to know the merits of disguise. You seem intent on killing me, but mayhap I can convince you to stay on your weapons, to stay your weapon. What can I give you exchange for your bounty? Money? Protection? I don't know why you think I'd be interested in such a thing. I do not make deals with criminals. Draw your weapon. The constable's offering 500 for your head. Are you saying you'll offer me a better deal? Nope. This dude's going out. Okay. So first of all, Trallon, you need to move back. And Elric, you need to move back. Nope. Trallon, move back. Elric, move back. Okay. Now you are going to do Crippling Ray on this thug. And you are going to do... No, you are going to do Polymorph into Fiend. Where is that? Morph into Fiend on the wheel right you're gonna do who seems to be you're gonna get some healing on Roxandra and you need to get into the fight with a quickness See, it won't let me... I keep having problems where in battle I can't use my quick slots. That's a real problem. I'm trying to keep them alive. carry stuff over. So frustrating. Okay. This is going to be bad. A lot of because I can't use my stupid um, quick slots.
They're hitting they're hitting Roxandra hard. Okay, can we even run during a fight? I may have to come back and start this over with better. See how far they chase me. They're gonna chase me. Okay, let's try to start this over with better tactics. annoying. I can't use any of my stuff. I can't use my healing stuff because it's all over here. That's really frustrating. Uh, what is this? Bathroom and Spice. Small. Okay. I gotta try to do something. See if they're gonna stay on Roxandra. I feel like the tactics, this this is really messing me up uh, where stuff goes into the quick slots and then suddenly I can't use it. I suspect it's a bug. I've reached out to developers on it and you know, they're, uh, it doesn't seem like the other people are complaining about it or something, I don't know, but I can't use my quick slots. Okay, so these, I've got an unhurt thug, an impaired will right, and a hurt, and an unhurt thug, and they've already done a lot of damage to Rexandra. I'm going to try to get as much healing on Rexandra as I can. I mean, I'm just, I've got all kinds of healing going on with Sandra, but they're hitting hard. Catalina, let's get on this wheel right. I think Roxandra is going to go down, I have a feeling. Yeah, I had three healers on her, but they were hitting hard enough. All right, I'm going to have to start this fight over. Okay, here we are again. I'm going to move Trallon and Elric back for support I'm going to move Catalina up I'll put Wilhelm right here and I'm going to move up Rexandra up no, Wilhelm you come here Rexandra you come up okay now I'm going to save that again. now let's try it again Catalina you go in Draw your weapon. Okay, here we go. So I've got two thugs, a wheelwright, Rexandra. All right, so Catalina, you and Roxandra get on this guy. Uh, Wilhelm, you get on this guy. And then I'm going to try to cast morph into fiend on him and let me see what Elric does okay he's a fiend that's good which means that his opponents should start attacking him now Elric you need to get healing on her and Wilhelm, I'm gonna have you do healing on her too. Yeah, they're attacking their own boss now. Okay, he's down. This is very, very good. <laughs> okay, um, Wilhelm, or El Trallin get healing on her, and Wilhelm get healing on her. And we need to take out this other thug. Okay, he's running down here, which is not good. 
He's on my spellcasters. Okay. So I need you, you, and you on him. Stat. And Trallon, you're going to have to move. Okay. Let's see if we can make this happen. Taking damage, sweetheart. Let's see if I can keep you in the game. I gotta move you. You're taking too much damage. Okay, I got another thug down. Okay, I need. He won't get off of her. Go, go, go. Get off of her, man. That dude will not get off of her. There we go. Okay. Trying to get some healing. Okay, now Trallon's taking a beating. It's like welcome to the musical opponent. Musical opponents. Okay, everybody's down. Good. Okay, that worked much better. Let's get everybody healed. Okay, everybody's healed. Let's see what's around here. Axe, bones. Bones, bones, bones. Why does it give me so many bones? Wheelwright's head. I want that. Pack of bolts. I'm good on bolts. Emeralds. I want that. Potion of minor healing. Nope, nope, nope. Emeralds. Brewing pouch. Okay. Is that everything? Okay. In fact, I'm going to move some of this stuff. Really, I can't... My quick slots are, like, useless. I can't move stuff out of them. This is so ridiculous. The quick slots are just bugged. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. They are bugged. And that's a little horn I can use to summon allies. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess they're just dead for now. There's the wheelwright's head. Okay, let's see if we're missing anything inside his amazing headquarters. What is that? A trunk? And I got, looks like some more emeralds. Turquoise amulet. I just want the emeralds. Okay, we're out of here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and turn this bounty in and then we'll be done. And we're back. Okay, so uh, back at Orf's Bridge Console, I tried to talk to the Arbiter. I said, how are things going? He said, well enough, move along. So let's go in here and see if I can turn this bounty in. The Constable. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do in here. There's gels. Okay, let's talk to the Constable. What's your business here, stranger? I'm new in town and I desire to meet the man who keeps the council safe. I'm passing through looking for exotic spices to buy and sell. I have a bounty to turn in. Nothing to concern you, strumpet. Uh, I'm new in town and I desire to meet the man who keeps the council safe. Pray it remains so. The other towns of Orf's Bridge are plagued with everything from goblins to grave robbers, but not in my town. We keep a tight rein on crime here. Uh, it seems well patrolled. I have not had the pleasure of such security in any towns I visited. Uh... Do you only protect the console itself, or does your jurisdiction ex extend beyond these walls? Uh, all constables of Warp Bridge report to me, but it's their duty to police their lands. I would visit their towns more often, but unfortunately I'm too important to the counselor, and I fear to leave him. Yes, I'm sure. The law is vital to a capital town like this. I see anything, I'll report it to you. If I see anything, of course. What would the political figures be with, without a sword at their side? I'll say, of course. What would the political figures be without a sword at their side? Just what I always say. I must be back to me do my duty. Safe travels, friend. Uh, one more moment. I have a bounty to turn in. Good to see a stranger taking a role in keeping our town safe. We appreciate it, Spicer. Here are your emeralds. Only doing it for the payoff. Say I thank you. I'll take that head from you, too. 
a few months it was starting to grow on me that, that would be ideal as you say move along now we don't tolerate orders here okay so I got 350 party XP and I got how many emeralds do I have now a lot starting to hit that late mid game sort of end game point where you're doing pretty good on equipment you can fight pretty well you got more money than you really need so okay we're gonna end things here oh and now I can move it over yeah I'm gonna move this over because uh, actually I'm gonna leave one there and pull over man I just don't have any dang room I'm gonna drop this because it's taking up space and I'm gonna move this over it leaves me with two slots okay okay we're gonna end things there thanks so much for watching this episode of the shame plays let's play series of serpent and Stagland staglands from well not studios i continue to be impressed with this game for the atmosphere and the the gameplay and all that but also just a husband and wife team joe and hannah from serpent and Stagland or well not studios did all of this it really impresses me. So, anyway, please uh, leave a comment, maybe a thumbs up on the video. That helps me out tremendously. And uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We will catch you next time on Shane Place. Thanks so much.